Okay. So, uh, should we begin? Sure. Okay. So, this is basically uh, this top, this bottom layer, and your this bottom layer is your scans which were done on March twelfth, twenty twenty one. Okay, which was okay. prior to the treatment. Um, the top row is the scans which were done on the 5th of May. Um, so you can see this was the primary in the prostate. So this is gone. So this is the PSMA scan. So this is the CT. This is the fused PSMA PET CT. This is on an axial cut, which means that we are kind of cutting Greg up like a cucumber. This is called the sagittal, which means that we are slicing him uh, sideways. And this is the coronal, which means that we are slicing him from behind forwards. Right. So you can see the same things on, on different projections. So we all reporting is done on an axial image because this is where we can actually see slice by slice each of the lesions, right? And we compare the priors with the current. And this is called a MIP image. MIP image means it's kind of a, like a, you know, we, we take all the axials and we make what is called a, a maximum intensity projection. So we kind of create a three-dimensional image out of all these uh, yeah. these uh, these uh, sections which we have so you can see out here if you look at this MIP image I'm going to just blow this up all right and you can see here these were all the spots this was the spot in the prostate gland these were all these spots which were there in the pelvic lymph nodes right all these little this little black dots and how many are there basically so, i mean you or you could have more maybe yeah you could yeah i mean there are about what one two three four five six seven eight nine ten about ten of them all right and uh, this is the kidneys this is normal distribution the liver the spleen the small intestine the salivary glands so these are the submandibular glands these are the parotid glands these are the lacrimal glands the glands which make the tears in your eyes okay and you see that there's nothing else elsewhere so your the disease was all kind of confined to the pelvis and just a little bit beyond all right and if you compare that with with what is the scan today you can see that all those little spots which were there have all disappeared okay so it looks good on the on the uh, three-dimensional image but more importantly when you look at the axial cuts you find that this was the lesion in the prostate gland which was you can see this uh, little white spot out here so this yeah. is an enhancing nodule which was there in the prostate and that showed increased PSMA scan right now we don't see neither the PSMA uptake nor that little nodule right there okay then the prostate is still a little enlarged, which is normal at, at uh, your age. Uh, these were the lymph nodes which were there earlier. So they're small lymph nodes. You see they've disappeared. They've just not, it's not as if they have just stopped expressing or you see that the, there is an absence of PSMA uptake. They've actually disappeared. So you don't see any node here. This, this is the node which you see here. And here it's all gone. Okay. Then you have some bigger nodes which were there. So this one was a big node which was there. Uh, so this was a big node which was here. That has completely disappeared. Right. And the same thing you can see on the fused images as well. Uh, again, another one here. So you can see this was the node. That node is not to be seen anymore. These are the vessels. So the lymph nodes are typically next to the vessels. So this was the node out here, out here. This, this, 
long thing and you see it's all gone. Okay? And the rest of him is, the rest of you is absolutely fine. This was again another, uh, another node which was there, which has again disappeared. This one was the node. So you see this is both, I mean, morphologically as well as uh, metabolically. So we call this is an anatometabolic remission. So uh, by whether you do it by the size criteria which CT or MR does, or you do it by the metabolic criteria which uh, uh, nuclear medicine scan does, so it is a complete response. So it's all gone. So it is really a phenomenal uh, response to just one dose of repetition. Is that because maybe I haven't had any kind of other treatment? Yes, After that is true. It is. We've got we've got your disease probably early on in the course of disease. Uh, and also because you've responded, so that's a good thing. Do you see other people having the same kind of response? I don't get patients so early on in disease. We usually okay. get patients that's post, late. yeah, much further on. So which we get, bo um, you know, both uh, post hormonal therapy, post chemotherapy. Uh, we don't see such spectacular responses in those patients. Yeah, we do see responses about. 75 to 80 percent patients do show responses, but this kind of a spectacular response just with one dose of lutetium is something which is very rare, right? Which is rare probably because we don't get to do it in patients like you. See? Yeah, so good. So that's what it is. And uh, so now that I'm coming back for uh, the second treatment and the third treatment. Uh, so, what, so, what so the idea, idea, idea is that you know it takes a million cells for us to be able to see a cancer on a PMA. on a PSMA scan, okay. right? A million. But it just takes a few. Yeah, I mean, million is just a you know a, close fast. Yeah, rough guess. Just a word, but yeah, close to that. But it takes very few cells to be uh, to remain there to uh, start for trouble. the disease to start coming back. So this is what we call as minimum residual disease, right? So it's called MRD, which means minimal residual disease. So in cancer, in the treatment of cancer, you always treat beyond what you see, right? Okay. So because you, you, you expect that disease is going to be lurking there at a microscopic level, at a molecular level. And so you tend to treat more than what you Overkill. actually see, right? <laughs> Uh, yes, overkill because these are resistant bugs, you know, they, they, they would, you know, pop up somewhere. Uh, what we did this time was we reduced the dose a little bit so that the salivary gland toxicity is less, right? So that's what it is. Great. Yeah. So that's it. So my job is to stay healthy so that you can yes your job others. is your job is to stay healthy and stay keep your cancer in control yeah